Hello again my friends, so this time we'll be setting up the first of the platforms, the rotating one. So we'll set up something that just kind of spins around like this. It's pretty simple and it's something that we've already kind of gone over but just a little bit of a variation on it so let's jump into it. Ignore that, that's just because I simulated and uh, it was looking for something that didn't technically exist in its version. So I'm back here in our project in the blueprints folder I'm gonna go into the platform pieces that we set up for the launch pad I'm gonna right click create a new folder called rotating platforms open that up I'm gonna right click and create a blueprint class of an actor called rotating platform underscore BP so we'll double click and open that up because we don't have to create a mesh for this one I'm just gonna do it all right in here so with this open in the components tab we are going to add a cube because that's gonna be the base for our platform if you have a, a, a specific mesh you want to use or you want to do the BSP to make another one you can do it the way we did last time just add the static mesh but I'm just gonna do it this way for this one so I'm just going to kind of scale it down to the size I need. I'm going to set it 0.1 on the Z. And I think it ought to be pretty good just like that. Let me pull it out so I can... Oh, no, no, no. All right. So I'm going to set it to like 5 and 5 on the X and Y. That might be too big. Play around with it. See what you like. I'm going to go with 3 and 3 probably. Yeah, that looks good enough for now alright so back inside its blueprint all I'm really gonna do is I'm gonna drag it off center a little bit and then I'm going to add that rotating component and then in the event graph I'm going to add a variable called, it's going to be a boolean called opposite question mark. And off begin play, I'm going to add a branch. I'm going to drag out that boolean, which in the variables menu, I'm going to go ahead and tick that little I so that we can edit it from the viewport. And then after the branch, I'm going to drag out the rotating movement, set its rotation off of true I'm gonna set it to negative 45 and off of false I'm just gonna do 45 this will let us be able to kinda alter it so if you want some of them to be rotating one direction others be rotating the other you can just establish that as you go so the rotation rate is just how fast it's gonna spin so let me show you what I mean. So see when I have it drug out in the world you'll see it's off-center now and under the default we have that little boolean. So if I simulate right now actually I'm just gonna press play you'll see it spins. And if I hit that opposite it spins the other way. 45 might be a little bit quick but you can what you can do if you want to also be able to adjust it from uh, from the exterior let's just drag this off promote it to a variable called rot a click that I drag off the second one promote it to a variable called rot B and we'll click that I again so now we can just kinda of set it up all out here They'll all be customizable, so you can have different ones rotating different directions at different rates. So if, let's see. So let's see. So I'm going to set this to like 20 and simulate. Then it goes slower. Get out of here, I know. If I set it to 85, and it's rotating pretty fast, I know. Get out of here. If I hit that, then it's rotating the other direction, etc., etc. 
So yeah, it's pretty quick to set up a rotating platform. Pretty easy to make it pretty customizable too. So just to kind of play around with it, I'll drag a few more out. Oh, you can also, what you can do is you can add these to it by, um, like let's say I want to add this to this one so that I can spring up to that one. So I will drag this up onto it or where I want it at. So I'll set it right in the middle of it. Then I'll find the launch pad and the one right here. So it's this rotating platform. I'll just take this launch pad and parent it right to it. So now they spin together. Whoa, get out of the way. So you can have rotating platforms with bouncy mushroom things on it. And then be able to not make that jump, but yeah, you get the point. So yeah, it's pretty quick, pretty easy to set up. And now you've got some rotating platforms for your level. And in the next one, we will set up the platforms that kind of go like side to side and back and forth and all that. So see you in a bit.